Hi guys. Um, in today's video, I've got a follow-up item to the um, Hot Pocket slash Pot Pie um, video that I did recently using the Mini Dash uh, Pie Maker. So I was out at the store today and I found these at Whole Foods. And some of you may remember that Costco used to carry these and they used to carry them in much larger size. This is, this is smaller. There's 12 wraps in this package. Um, but I got th to thinking, these are much thinner. Can I use these in the pie maker in replacement of the egg crepes that I made when I made the, the pot pie? So we know that the egg wraps work to create more like a hot pocket and then the crepes i you know i made home both homemade but i'm pretty sure that the egg tortilla which is a replacement for the egg wrap that if we were to buy these this would work um because you know this is very much the same texture same thickness etc but it didn't dawn on me of being able to buy a um, version of the egg crepe that was keto friendly and I came across these today the crepinis and it was like oh yeah I used to use these and uh, and so I want to give this a try so um, in terms of the macros for this product one wrap is eight calories it's no fat it's uh, no carb and it's one one protein and the ingredients are organic egg white, organic egg whole with citric acid, and then organic cauliflower powder, organic olive oil, sea salt, xanthan gum, and organic spice. So very, very clean. And so uh, I want to see if I can use these in the pot pie, in the um, Dash Mini Pie Maker. So if you recall from that other video, if you saw it, the, the dash comes with a guide of what the base is and then what the when you flip it over what the top is. So these wraps fit this nicely. Oops. So for the top, it fits it really nicely. Let me slide this over so you can see. There's only a little excess and then obviously the top fits it as well. Okay, and then I have... Uh, sloppy Joe filling that I've recently made. You may have seen that video. So I'm going to go ahead and and try and and, and give this a, give this a try. And you know what? Here's what I'm thinking to keep this even easier. Because these are so close to the size, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and do this without even cutting them. I'm just gonna try. And, and use these as they are, okay? So what the heck, Here's, here goes nothing. So my uh, pie maker is already um, hot. So I'm just putting this in here. And then I'm gonna put my pie filling So this is four ounces of my Sloppy Joe filling, and I'm push this down. And then I'm putting on the top. And you know what, if I have to trim this when I take it out, that's fine. But I like this idea of not even having to trim this to go in. Okay, so that's covered pretty well. I'm going to go ahead and close this. And if you recall from our other video, it's about eight minutes. So let's let this cook for eight minutes. And then I'll come back and show you. Let me wash my hands first. Then I'll come back and I'll show you um, what this looks like. And I'll let you know if, uh, if this serves as a replacement. Um, so you don't even have to make the egg crepe if you were going to make this. Okay, be back in a minute. Okay, so it's just about time, but I thought I'd pop on a little early, and this is another product that I wanted to show you. So this is a no sugar 
uh, uncured bacon like the um, like the por pork sausage I showed you from from Applegate as well. There's also a rancher's cut, no sugar added bacon that uh, I know I've seen I, I get from Whole Foods. I like that as well. Um, but both the bacon and the pork sausage links, um, I make in the air fryer uh, about the same time that I do the burgers, about seven minutes at um, 375 or 400. And uh, boy, it, it makes burgers, bacon, sausage perfectly. And you don't even have to flip them. So anyways, I wanted to show that to you. Okay, it's been eight minutes here. So now let's go ahead and, uh, and give this a try. So let's open this. Um, I think you can see how that has browned around the edges. So far it's looking good. I'm looking for something now to take this out. This is a little bit, um, I don't know. I think it's a little thinner than the crepe that I make. Look at that. Look at how easy that came out. Let me see if you can, let me show that to you. Look at that. I didn't even have to trim this or anything. Wow. The, the edges that weren't, you know, that crisped up are just um, coming off the edge, but that's fine. Look at this. I turned that upside down so you could see that. Wow. That's awesome. So I'm actually going to have this as my dinner tonight. Um, because if you saw in the Sloppy Joe recipe when I wanted to save the other protein macros uh, um, for other items I was having. Um, so I had it on bu butter lettuce. Well, this, this works as well. And I've used this before for turkey roll-ups, and I've used it for egg salad, and I've used it for egg salad with turkey roll-ups. Um, so this is a very versatile product. So when I saw it today, I'm like, oh, let me let me let me try and see if I can uh, make this in the in the mini pie maker. And sure enough, there you go. And this is another product that has a very neutral t taste, so it will go with anything. So there, if you don't want to make your egg crepes from, from scratch to use as a pot pie, um, then go ahead and pick these up. And I think I've recently seen them at Costco again. I think they're in the, uh, in the refrigerator section. I think I saw them right outside where they keep the eggs and the milk and such. Okay, so, so there you have it. Um, I would say that's a resounding success. And it even browned up more than the egg crepe that I had made. So if I were going to make these in, in batch mode and have a bunch, then I'd just reheat these in the air fryer. And that's what I did when I made the um, Hot Pockets and the Pot Pie, that first recipe, because I didn't consume them right away. I had them in the refrigerator, and then when I wanted to consume them, I, uh, I put them in the air fryer for... Uh, like three minutes at 375 and they came out perfect. Okay, so so there you have it. I just got this idea while I was out at the store and wanted to come home and give it a try. And there you go. And given the size, and I should tell you one wrap is uh, about five grams, 5.3 grams. So if it's that size, um, I just said, forget it. I'm not even going to have to cut it. And sure enough, it worked. So, so there you go. Um, I have to say again, I'm on a roll here. I didn't know I was this creative. Uh, but anyways, it works. And, uh, and I hope you might make use of this. I hope this is helpful for you. And, uh, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya. So to finish out the video, I just wanted to show you what I do after I took the um, Sloppy Joe out of the pie maker with the crepini. So I put it in the air fryer for just a couple of minutes. So this is what I've got. And I just want to show you here what it's like when you, um, when you bite into it. So let me see if I can capture this on, on camera. So I'll show you this after I bite into it. And you can hear 
how crunchy the outside is. So there you have it, my sloppy joe that I made with the uh, with the crepini in the um, dash mini pie maker, and I'm having it with a with a side of cauliflower. So um, so yeah, so I saw the crepinis in the store. I got the idea to try them rather than having you know as a convenient way rather than having to make my homemade crepinis like I did in the hot pocket slash pot pie recipe uh, video and it works so I just wanted to show you this this last step what it's like look at how beautiful that that holds together so there you go and how crunchy it is okay so that'll do it for now I'll see you in the next video